Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a modding tutorial, or pseudo-modding tutorial, anyway. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to rename any kingdom, or rather, any title in the game to pretty much anything you want. Now, um, first off, I'm, I've already got the save on my desktop. For those of you that don't know how to find the save, it will be located in this directory. Except you'll have to replace Kalvin with your computer's username, your account in Windows username. As for Mac people, I don't know. If you're using a Mac to play Crusader Kings 2, you probably know what you're doing. Um, so I've actually, I'm going to be doing it in Notepad, but I recommend Notepad++, and I will show you why right now. First, let's open it in Notepad++. Okay, great. You know, open up just fine. Um, now we're going to open it in Notepad. I don't have it set up to open in Notepad, so this will <laughs> give me a moment. Yeah, this is going to take a while. So, why don't we just get started? Uh, that might eventually pop up. It might not. I don't know. It takes a really long time to load this stuff. So, uh, I've taken a save, uh, MLP 872, from my Hellenic Glory campaign. And, you know what? Let's actually do it to the realm. Uh, DMLP. So, I was I was testing with K England, but... So, anyway, let's go DMLP. Oh, watch. Wow! Uh, hands out of position much. ML fee. Now, uh, you put an equal sign here. And you can do this for any title. Remember the various codes for how titles work? A B, barony. C, county. D, du duchy. K, kingdom. E, empire. So, it will be one of these letters, based on the level of the title. This way it can differentiate between, say, the Duchy of Perm, the County of Perm, and the Kingdom of Perm. You know, god damn it, why are there so many perms? Anyway, um, so you just pick, you know, the level of the title, and then simply the name of the title. Uh, in some rare cases with counties and baronies, they actually have uh, different... Oh, hey, that popped up finally. Um, they have different, this is why it's just using Notepad++, it opens up instantaneously. Um, it open, uh, well, damn it, I got myself sidetracked. Uh, it may have a different name than what you'd be looking for in the, uh, search bar here. And you'll have to poke around in the game files, and if you have no idea what you're doing, you're kind of SOL. But it's really only for baronies and counties that you'll run into that. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So anyway, yeah, let's go with 2D MLP equals. So find next. Here we go. D MLP. You'll if if the title is held, there will be a line holder. Okay? And you'll want to put it under this. Uh, otherwise it'll be the first line. So if I wanted to say change the K Zions, it would go here. But all you have to do is put name equals uh Crap. I don't know. Hellenic Empire Land thing. That's totally not going to show up. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Crap. Uh, what's something that might actually show up? Um, crap, I don't know. You know what? Let's call ourselves Venice. You know what? I've never tried saving with this. So yeah, if I wanted to say call the king of the Zayads Venice as well, I don't know. Uh, you'd put name equals Venice. Like I said, it only has to come after the holder line. If the holder line doesn't exist because the title isn't held, then you are free to, you know, not actually. Then it, it, it'd be otherwise the first one. If it if it has a holder, it will be the second line. Then you just save. Hmm. Wow, that actually saved. I was worried that was going to take about 10 minutes to save, just like it takes 10 minutes to open. Right, let's pop open CK2 here. Uh... Where'd the launcher go? What? Oh, there it is. Alright, start CK2. So, this will probably take a moment, and let me explain where this uh, all comes from. No. Don't bother reloading. If I go back here and say search for K France equals, whoops, what, what did I do? All right, I have to change the direction because I'm at the bottom of the file. You'll note 
that K France has the name West Francia. It also has an adjective, but that has to be pre-programmed elsewhere and uh, is related to other files that, you know what, going to be a little trickier to mod. This is just meant to be a real simple. You can change anything. And you can do this without changing your uh, checksum. And by not changing the checksum, you can still play multiplayer games. In fact, in the multiplayer Let's Play, somewhere around, I think, episode 20 or something, you'll notice some people have different Empire names. Um, totally not a Vardom. <clears throat> totally not the Empire of Vardom, uh, in which I use this method to change some stuff. Like I said, you can use it for multiplayer, and you can change, you know, any title for flavor text. I have no idea how loud this music is in comparison to my voice. So, you know. Um, let's see, anything else? Well, let's see. We can go around and I think, let's see, K Germany, I think is East Francia. Oops. Oh, there we go, done loading. Yeah, see East Francia. Alright, uh, oh yeah, I have to move the save back into my save game folder. I will be, just, just, just a moment, everybody. Just a moment. I have to move you into my save game folder for you to work. Always remember to put it in your save game folder. You know, otherwise, bad things. Okay, ooh. You know what, I'm only getting 15, like, like 15 FPS doing this, this is terrible. Uh... I hope it's actually picking up Crusader Kings 2 on my desktop. Because I'm I'm ordering for apps to record my entire desktop and it's causing some terrible lag. Luckily I'm not actually going to be playing the game. Alright, here we go. See? And you can now see in the game we are called Venice. The Doge of Venice. Serene Doge of Venice. Yeah, the title, the Duchy of MFE, has been renamed to Venice in the same way that West and East Francia are renamed versions of France and Germany. Anybody can do this, and it, like I just showed you, it doesn't really take much work or much skill, and you can even use it for multiplayer purposes. You don't, act, you know, it doesn't involve changing the checksum, and you can still play the vanilla game perfectly fine. It just allows you to add some flavor text to your favorite titles. I hope this uh, little tutorial thing has helped you guys. This is a really great feature that they've added in. Um, that, you know, I, I, I actually might consider making a utility that, like, lets you rename titles. That'd be awesome. Should do that. Um, so that way you don't even have to open the save games. But until then, you know, a nice little easy way to rename anything to anything. Uh, whoop, over here, my notes. No. Um... Like I said, you'll, the title will be preceded by, uh, you know, a letter and then an underscore for the level of the title that it is. Always remember that, and otherwise you're golden. Uh, if you have trouble with it, I can always, you know, help, in the, help out in the comments. But until then, I hope this tutorial has helped you guys. So, until the next time, this is Calvin signing off.